Hey everybody, this is Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. This Tea Time is dedicated to Whoopi Goldberg. Listen, Whoopi Goldberg, like many other celebrities and many other everyday people, we are in a fight. The fight against fat. The fight against having unwanted excess pounds on your body and you are doing everything and anything to get those pounds off, to have them be gone. Some people will um, turn to liposuction. Other people turn to weight loss medications. And the latest weight loss medications that everybody seems to be turning to is Ozempic and Margero. I think that's how you pronounce it. But anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. But Whoopi Goldberg is one of the bold ones, okay, and brave ones, and said, listen, yes, I have used a weight loss medication. Yes, I had, I was almost 300 pounds, she said when she did the movie Till. She said, I was almost 300 pounds and I didn't realize it. So one day I walked past the mirror and was like, oh my gosh, that's me, right? So she turns to the weight loss medication and she has since lost a ton of weight to the point where she said her mind and her body kind of didn't catch up with each other yet. She says she doesn't know how to deal with this new body of hers. And so as a result, she cannot commit to a new way of dressing because she's still trying to figure out um, who is this Whoopi now? Who is Whoopi Goldberg without all of that weight on her? And many people struggle with that mental and, and, and image thing. And we're going to get more into this story, guys, right after this. share a screen with y'all. We'll get right into this story. So, work in progress. Whoopi Goldberg is not comfortable with her post-Mangero body, but co-host may ask why she doesn't put in more effort. The View host may judge Whoopi Goldberg's Super Mario brother overalls negatively, says a pro. So Whoopi Goldberg has been struggling with her body image and outfit choices after turning to weight loss um, injections to slim down, a stylist claimed. She said Whoopi, um, Whoopi's more put together, Whoopi's more put together co-hosts wouldn't appreciate the Super Mario Brother o brother overalls she has been wearing to present um on the view. So that's her right there. And listen, I get the struggle because in your mind you may still be this big girl, but when you look in the mirror, like you're this tiny girl, and it's like, okay, what do I wear? How do I figure this out? Because there were certain things when you're a certain size, there's certain things that you may not want to wear or feel comfortable wearing. And so she's trying to say, okay, what do I do now? Especially if you struggle with years of having all of this weight on you. Um, so Whoopi Goldberg has been on a weight loss drug and is in between sizes. She wears overalls to feel comfortable, says a stylist, right? So the stylist told the US Sun that Whoopi's overalls are big and baggy and that, and that they, they tend to cover up her new shape which is purposeful. So they're doing this on purpose. I didn't know Whoopi Goldberg was 68. So Whoopi Goldberg was 68, dressed casually through March for her hosting gig on The View. An image of her sandwiched between two Pixar characters wearing dark overalls was shared on Instagram on March 29th. Whoopi looks like she has been cleaning Sunny's um, chicken coop, remark one fan. Believe it or not, there's a dress code on The View for professional wear, said another. 
But Whoopi Goldberg, I mean, even before this weight loss, has been wearing whatever the heck she wanted to on The View. Stylist um, Tavia Sharp said the color purple alone does not know how to fit into her new body. Whoopi opened up about her weight loss after turning to Manjaro, a medication used for weight loss and to treat type 2 diabetes. I will tell you, I weighed almost 300 pounds when I made till, she said on The View on March 29th. I had taken all those steroids. I was on all of this stuff. And one of the things that helped me drop the weight is my general. That's what I use. Since um, since she's been on the weight loss drug, Whoopi, Whoopi is between is in between sizes and wants to feel comfortable. Comfortable, Sharp told the U.S. Sun. She does not want to commit to a new look look yet, and is unsure how to fit into her new body. Whoopi has been pretty heavy set for many years and is now going through the process of physically changing her shape. It's a big change, even if it's a good change. And I get it. Um, she would be, I'm saying, she would be saying, my body is changing and it feels uncomfortable. So she wants to cover up. Right now, she is not embracing her new body. Whoopi also explained on The View how her weight used to um, fluctuate. My weight has gone and come and gone up and down, she said, but it's never been an issue for me because I don't listen to what other people say about me. So it's never been a problem. You know what? That's a good attitude and mindset to have because if you listen to the people, you will have yourself depressed. I'm um, doing things that you don't even know why you're doing them because you're trying to please others. So I think it is a great thing to have that kind of um, attitude of, I don't care what the people say because people are going to talk about you no matter what. But I'm also glad for Whoopi's, um, you know, a sense, so to speak, um, for Whoopi that she decided like it's time for her to lose some of the weight only because not everybody, right? Nothing is a end all be all. But a lot of times when you have a lot of excess weight on you, it causes a whole lot of other problems, especially when it's around your waistline. And that's why I'm finding I have a lot of weight around my waistline that, you know, I'm trying to get under control. I'm just trying to exercise and eat right. And it's a slow walk to the finish line. And I'm being patient with the slow walk to the finish line. It's a matter of how we treat ourselves, she added. Um, Sharp said Whoopi could um, could source outfits to boost her confidence after dropping weight. Whoopi may not need to invest in a whole new wardrobe, she said. This is about finding a few pieces to get her through this transition period. She can constantly tell her things, especially basic items, and still wear some of her favorite clothes. With these weight loss ingestions, it takes time, and it takes time, and then Whoopi might plateau. So they're saying, you know, right now she's probably not finishing losing all the weight that she's going to lose by being on these injections. So they're trying to weigh it out before you go out there and buy a whole new wardrobe. And every week or every month, you may have to keep buying more clothes. They're trying to wait till she plateaus, levels off, and then maybe go seek a new wardrobe. It is also essential to find new clothes so they properly fit, so they properly so they fit properly and look good on her new body, which makes you feel more confident. Her overalls are big and baggy and they tend to cover a lot, which is purposeful. Now she will probably lose a dramatic amount of weight from the injections. I assume these weight loss injections that it takes time and then Whoopi might plateau. Monjero is the name of an injectable medication um, that you know is similar to Ozempic. Um, to treat diabetes, assist with weight loss, as well as other health issues. Sharp likened the TV's host overalls to Nintendo Super Mario Brothers. Whoopi looks like one of the Super Mario Brothers, but she is on a prime TV show, she said. The View is a prestigious chat show, and Whoopi is a well-known celebrity. Interestingly, Whoopi is known to like fashion. In the past, she has been a regular at New York Fashion Week. She also lost a fashion line in 2022. I didn't know that. Called Dugby. Mm, that's interesting. I got to go look that up later. Whoopi said her business model was, the last thing you should ever fret about is what's in your closet. Oh, that's cute. Okay, maybe this is a piece from her um, line. I like the kind of big oversized, you know, jacket there. The other hosts on the view tend to showcase bolder fashion choices. These may comp um these may complement any heated conversations in this show is uh, in this show is fame. Joy 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 Bear um 
spoke about a bet she had with the show stylist on Friday and a clip shared on Instagram. Joy and Fran thought people um, thought people don't know what shoes you have on when you walk out. The comedian walked out on the set wearing black sh um, one black Chanel shoe and one, and, a, and a one white one just to see if people notice. Whoopi um, was last in line, this time dressed in oversized cream overalls. Sharp claimed the other hosts are styled appropriately. The other view host styles are well put together and they have their signature look, she said. Joy has been on The View for roughly the same time as Whoopi and cares about um, viewers um, about viewers seeing her. There is some kind of judgment from the other hosts because they are all putting in that effort, especially Joy. I mean, but listen, what someone else's wears doesn't um, um, devalue what you are wearing. Let Whoopi do her thing, let her find her way and let her um, make her come around and with her body in the clothes. She is aware that people look at what they wear as hosts even down to their shoes. She still wants to step on set, look professional and put together. They all put in effort for this prestigious talk show. In their minds, they can ask what is up and why Whoopi can't put in a little more effort since she is a senior host. I would imagine there is some kind of judgment from the other hosts because they are all putting in effort, especially Joy. Sharp said when Whoopi reached um her, when Whoopi reached her goal weight, she might have figured out a new look. She was already dressed in frumpy on the view with loose clothing, she said. We can look out for a new Whoopi after this transition. She may be so maybe she will bring out a whole new wardrobe. The frumpy look and the overalls are still covering up, even though those outfits are hard to pull off. So Pretty much, which is many. Oh, let me just finish. Many people, especially Whoopi, feel uncomfortable showing off their new body at the weight loss. They were so used to covering it up for so long. This is all about body image, and you know, I agree. It's not easy, right? And especially as females, as ladies, um, we are scrutinized so hard over our body, over our looks. Um, men, from birth to the day they leave the world they're not nearly as scrutinized as hard as females are when it comes to body um, shape, body type, and just what we look like overall. I wish it would be the best. And I'm glad this story was shared because I think that so many people um, suffer similar situations. It's like, what do I wear? Everybody's looking at me. Okay, all of my other co-hosts or co-workers, they're a certain size, shape, and they look a certain way. Do I have to fall in line? Can I just be me? Can I take my time, even though I'm in the public eye, and figure out how to get used to this body and maybe start wearing clothes that fit my body a little bit differently? All right. So I think because, you know, um, Whoopi did like always like a baggy look, and I don't know if she adopted that ba baggy look solely because of her body size. But even as a smaller size, they can get a still a baggy look, but a baggy look that fits her current size, if I'm making sense to anybody. But listen, guys, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Are you currently struggling um, with your weight? Are you trying to lose weight, get in shape, or just get healthier? Um, I know I am, and I like I told you earlier, it, it's not an easy road. But I just say keep trying, keep doing your best. Every day you wake up, thank God that you're awake. You can breathe, you can walk, you can talk, you can do everything on your own, and just do one thing more than you did previously to walk that walk of better health and getting in shape. So listen, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.